uh, welcome back here on the Senior Network. We were discussing volunteers. So Linnell, tell us some other opportunities with Friends of Caroline that you have. So we also use volunteers um, to help with our palliative and bereavement programs. So we have a bereavement program where we work with people who've lost a spouse, lost a child, and we also have a relationship with Beaufort County School District and we go into the school and work with students who've lost a loved one. We help them, we have trained facilitators go in into the school so the parent doesn't have to drive them somewhere and, and take them. Oh we go gosh. into the school, we may, meet with like age groups, kind of a group setting and that way they know they're not the only ones feeling these feelings that right. a lot of times they're feeling for the first time and also give them some coping skills and now that school's out we actually just had our Camp Caroline and that's just a one-day camp we had it at Port Royal Sound Foundation and it was just a wonderful day oh. um, again mm -hmm. they had their age groups that they met in and at the end of the day we did a butterfly release um, oh. in memory of their loved ones and they had some fun things. They got to go on a nature hike and a boat ride, and Aww. it was just a really good day. And it's everybody really said they can't wait till next year. So it's, nice. it's, it's nice to be able to, to help um, young ones go through the these mom. feelings. Is there yes. a way that they can stay in touch with each other? Do you, do you kind of encourage that? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure that they can. The parents meet as well. They okay. come in um, towards the end of the day mm -hmm. and they have their own little session. So nice. I'm sure the parents exchange contact yeah. information so they can keep the children yeah, um, it's in touch. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's how we start today. the day is letting them, we do a little exercise to let them know that they're not alone. They're not the only one going through this. So don't ever feel like you're alone. Yeah. Yeah. And our, so our, we have volunteers that are trained to facilitate these groups. We also have volunteers just come in our office and help us out with professional services. And we have volunteers help us with our fundraising. And that's so we can fund these extra programs that we do with our hospice organization, the Palliative and the Bereavement. And we do a barbecue every year, a fashion show fashion that we show, had talked right? about. Mm -hmm. And we have our Festival of Trees, um, which is right at the beginning oh. of December. And so from military volunteers to the entire community, they come together and help us put on these events so we can raise money. Oh, that's wonderful. That's really mm -hmm. wonderful. And hospice services. I mean, we're, we're talking, talking about, about your facilities, facilities in Preston and, and independent living. I mean, hospice can be, their services can be anywhere, correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yes, wherever the patient calls home, sure. we'll go. It's not necessarily end of life either, correct? Um, palliative um, is um, not necessarily end of right. life. Uh, hospice care is if they have a prognosis of, of six months, okay. um, but the goal there is to, to keep them comfortable, comfortable and let them know and they engaged. still have that life to live yeah, while they're getting um, there. So we're not necessarily treating the illness, but we're, we're treating symptoms so they can be comfortable. Yeah, that's right. And um, my mom uh, was actually in the Preston. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we called in hospice. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, hospice, hospice comes to the Preston Health Center as well. Um, you know, it's funny, as you were talking, it made me think about um, our resident services director who we have here, um, Debbie Peoples. And she is, um, she wears many, many hats, but she is like a counselor um, and an advocate for everyone, for and everyone, for, yeah. for all, yeah. everyone on the independent side. Yeah. And so she, you know, even if a friend comes to her and says, "Hey, you know, I'm concerned about Mr. Smith. You know, his wife passed away, and he just he's not he's not coming over for dinner anymore, or whatever it happens to be." So she is has, is a real benefit to the Cyprus um, with how she works with our members in the same manner that you're talking about with your volunteers and whatnot. It's, it's very difficult to navigate through the, through this. Any, any and trauma. everyone needs an advocate mm -hmm. like well like hospice or like a Debbie sure. Peoples because let's face it, I mean it's these are many firsts for many people and um, they do need and, and like Debbie uh, as she's the wellness navigator and it's it's a very it's a good title Very for her because she's and she's good. Yeah, and oh, she's, she's good at she's it. She's fabulous. She, she, she navigates. She's yeah, and she knows everyone. And she knows the whole. <laughs> yeah, but she gets to know the whole family, family. because yeah. it's the whole family that is affected, sure. and so um, it, 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 it's it's just such a benefit to have her here and um, you know everything that she does. Well, 
when you folks, when you first start talking to someone about moving here, mm -hmm. that relationship starts at that point. Oh, for and sure. And you probably stay in touch with that family throughout oh, years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, their oh, children, yeah. their pets' yeah. names, yeah. Uh, oh, where yeah. they're from, mm -hmm. their professions. Um, it is a it it's is we're building one, it, relationship. It is you know. wonderful. Uh, Nona and I always say we're, we're also oh, marriage God. counselors, <laughs> um, psychologists, mm -hmm. psychiatrists, although. Mm -hmm. Not technically licensed, but, no, but we sure do a but lot we of it. We do a lot of it, and and um, you know, pet care. I mean, we know everything just about, but we do need to get to know the whole person, and and what their needs are going to be. Because when folks come to us, our, you know, our average age moving in is around seventy-five. Sure. But you know, you have to when you're thinking about the Cypress shifts to say, what does your ninety-five-year-old self look like? You know, will you be driving? Um, you know, you know what what will your health care needs be at that time, both mentally and physically. So we do. That's why it's so important for us to um, get to know the. And we're basically helping them plan their future. I mean, that's that's why people move to these communities. Is that's what they're doing. They're planning their future. Many of them have children, and they don't want to be a burden on their children as they age, or they don't have children. So the question is who's going to take care of us as we age. So that's that's the draw of our type of community. We have a lot of folks, like you just mentioned, that, that relocate here and their children are not here. You're right. right. They're way off in Ohio or wherever else. Oh, yeah. And Spread your support network is oh, huge, yeah. mm -hmm. huge for them to help them through mm -hmm. that. Great conversation, though. But hold that thought. We need to take a break. This is the Senior Network. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 